April 21st, blog post number 426. Super blogger Zhenya signing in, continuing to tell the amazing saga of famous television chef Jenny Miles. Her genius and talents recorded for the ages through the blazing strokes of my fingertips. Today's show, the seafood show. Fish and other seafood are an excellent part of a good diet. Because fish are high in protein, but low in unhealthy fats, they make a superb alternative to red meat. In addition, fish are full of vitamins and minerals. They also contain nutrients called omega-3 fatty acids, which can prevent heart disease and may also help with a healthy brain development. Janie was an expert seafood chef, and therefore she knew that there was a process to making sure seafood dishes were delicious as well as healthy. The perfect healthy meal means making sure the right ingredients are used and in the right way. Bonjour! Hola! I would like to buy a fish from you, my good sir. But please, no shark, swordfish, king mackerel, or tilefish, as they are just loaded with unhealthy contaminants. Well, what type of fish are you looking for? Certainly no blues or bass either. Thank you so much. It was a known fact to Jenny, fish that eat mostly other fish, such as blues and bass, have the highest mercury levels. Oh, I'll take the ocean salmon or trout. Jenny selected this particular fish because ocean salmon and trout are among the best choices for all consumers because they are very low in mercury and high in omega-3 fatty acids. You're in luck. I have several of these. Which one would you prefer? Well, they both look just lovely, but I'll take the smaller one. Jenny knew that larger and older fish have accumulated more mercury in their system. Choosing the smaller fish was a great way to avoid exposure to contaminants. I've got some crab mustard. If you'd like it thrown in the bag, no charge. Oh, good heavens, no! I would pay you extra to leave it out. Jenny smoothly sidestepped that disaster. Crab mustard is never to be eaten due to its high level of toxicity from PCBs and mercury. <sighs> I better write a few paragraphs to explain this pollutant stuff to my readers. In the rivers and coastal waters of New York City, mercury, PCBs and other toxins have been found in some species of fish at concentrations that may be harmful to human health. Mercury pollution comes from power plants, smokestacks, mining, and other industrial activities. When mercury lands in bodies of water, it moves up the food chain from the tiniest fish to the bigger ones that eat them. The older and larger these fish get, the more mercury collects in their flesh. PCBs are industrial chemicals that are now outlawed but are still present in water and soil. PCBs are found in fatty parts of certain fish. These chemicals are linked to learning and memory problems, as well as other very serious health problems. That should get people up to speed. Now that we have our fish selected, remove the fatty parts, such as the head, guts, kidney, liver, skin, belly flap, and fat along the back. This must be done before we cook. Only the skinless fillet is to be used. We will bake the fish, we will boil the fish, we will steam the fish, we will grill the fish, but we will never fry the fish. In our flavorful gumbos and soups, we will only use a skidless fillet. Jenny would privately lament that toxins may be partially removed by cleaning and cooking, but never completely removed. Let the fat drain off and discard the cooking juices. We will decline their use for further dishes. Some connoisseurs with less time prefer to substitute fresh fish with canned tuna. When I must make meals with canned tuna fish, if at all possible, I avoid albacore tuna. Like a wise owl, Jenny forcefully advised against albacore tuna because it has more mercury than canned light tuna. You may eat only up to 6 ounces of albacore tuna per week. And after that, no more fish for the week. As a rule, you may eat up to 12 ounces a week of a variety of fish and shellfish, such as shrimp, 
canned light tuna, salmon, pollock, and catfish in my sumptuous recipes. Janet's ultimate secret. She checks local advisors for type and quantity of fish she can use. The fish advisories are issued by the New York State Department of Health and are available to anyone. Phew! Another post that'll rack up the digs and increase my technorati score. Publish. For more information, visit goingpostal.org.